All right, so today we're going to do a pack and rebuild, but we have a little bit of an issue. Finding product at a retail store, your Targets, your Walmarts, almost impossible nowadays with the fact that card collecting as a hobby, the popularity is through the roof. It's to the moon, whatever you want to call it. So with that being said, unless I'm out there like Black Friday camping out with my tent and my chair, you know, my sleeping bag, it's almost impossible for me to find product on the shelves. Like I found it once, it was basketball. So I haven't been able to find any sort of baseball product on my shelves for I think two months now, which is absolutely insane. Like I'm not even able to see packs. Like there's not even packs on the shelves anymore. There's people who are out there just camping the shelves, waiting for them to stock it which is a little ridiculous. So unless I go and pay over retail price, I'm not getting anything. So with that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on a Diamond Dynasty. We're gonna open 26 packs and I'm gonna rebuild the play, or I'm gonna rebuild with the players that I get. I hope you do enjoy it. You guys have been asking for a pack and rebuild. Let's do it today. So I hope you do enjoy it. Thumbs up if you do. Let's aim for another thousand likes on a video. We'll do another rebuild tomorrow. Let's keep the streak going with MLB The Show 21 right around the corner. That's really about it, guys. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see tomorrow. That's it. Let's hop into it. All right, so let's hop into it. Let's figure out who we're going to get. And you guys are going to see here in a sec. I've got 26 packs, 26 players on the roster. And... Uh, Let's get into it. Let's get into the first one, see who we get. And I'm only going to take one player per pack and not a great start. I think I'm going to take Odor. I, I think that makes the most sense. Yonder a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take Odor. I mean, that's that's an obvious one. And um, because I'm not going to remember everybody, I got to write it down as well. So the next one, oh, please be a good one. Please be a good one. Marco Estrada, is he even in the league anymore? Um... I guess Kyle Ryan is the next next uh, Kyle Ryan. Are you kidding me? Who do we have for the next one? All right, at least it's a bron Ooh, a silver. I'm taking it no matter what. Trent Grisham. Ooh, Trent Grisham for sure. Yes, that is that's a big one. Um, I will I will take that. I'm pretty sure he just got injured in real life. He pulled his hamstring or something like that. Another silver. Oh, Mitch, my boy Mitch. That's what I'm talking about. So far, our outfield's looking kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. Who do we have next? Luis Garcia. Uh, I, you know what? Just to have a reliever, I might take. Yeah, I'm gonna take Luis Garcia. I, you know, hopefully, hopefully he exists in the rosters. That's really all I gotta say. Next up, uh, I, I guess Heath Holder. I don't even think he's on a team though. None of these guys are on teams. So Heath Holder, I, I guess Heath Holder. Oh, that's not good. That's that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, like I said, I'm looking down because I got to write down everything. But next up, we got Roman Quinn, Guillaume, Matt Duffy, or Ronnie Garcia. Um. Ooh, this was kind of tough because like they. Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Guillaume because I think he's got a little bit more value than Duffy in terms of like trade value so there's that and next up what do we got here oh another silver yes oh Kyle Lewis oh our outfield's looking so good yes so good that's that's it and a gold Will Smith yo give give me the team this team is looking stacked so good already Jose Leclerc I mean, not the best, but you know what? We'll take it. Who do we have next up? Bronze. Hector Rondon or Adam Simber? Mm, you know what? Let's go Rondon. Yo, this team's actually looking kind of nice. The issue with Will Smith is he doesn't always do well in franchise. So, like, is it worth it? You know what I mean? Um, We're going to go matt wise Whist whistler i think it's whistler i don't know i i always say it wrong it's it's just one of those things we got christian walker which i guess we take christian walker i i guess i honestly we got to get some pitchers we haven't really been getting pitchers i think i need nothing but pitchers uh oh um uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh we got one pitcher we've got two three 
four, five, six pitchers. So I need at least seven more. I guess Dexter Fowler. That's kind of gross to be honest. But all right, we've got we've got quite a few packs to kind of get lucky with. Ooh, please be a pitcher. Ian Anderson, yes. I don't even need to see who the rest are. I know I want Ian Anderson. Next up, another gold. Oh, you're treating me so well, Nicholas Castellanos. Thank you. Thank you. That is that is a beautiful pack right there. Our outfield DH is looking magnifique, you know? Let's who do we got? It's a pitcher. It's American League. It's a lefty. Huh? Huh? Who do we got? Who do we got? Blake Snell, now of the Padres, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. We got, we got, we got a, t a squad forming right now. And um, all right, was that a? Ooh, you know what? Smeltzer. I'll take Smeltzer. I think he's actually. A mm, yeah, we can go with Smeltzer here. I think he's more of a starter, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take it. We got eight packs left. This team is looking real good. Richard Rodriguez without without any hesitation. So good in the bullpen. Definitely need it there. And ooh, this could uh I guess we'll take uh Thielbar. I guess. I think that's all the pitchers that we need too. Let me let me let me get a double check here. So this is 8 9 10 11 12. Okay, so we could we can get Actually, that's 12. That's all we need. So the rest are position players. What? Um, okay. You know, just a casual Garrett Cole. Just a casual Garrett Cole. Just a casual Garrett Cole. You know, whatever. Whatever. A silver. We got Renato Nunez. Uh, a beast. A beast. Um... I honestly think we're winning season one. Like, I don't think we need to worry about it anymore. Um, these are all pitchers. Jace Fry, I don't need any more pitchers, though. That's the issue. I, I need, like, the opposite of pitchers. I need hitters. And, uh, yeah. Talk about a squad. Uh, Michael Hermosillo, we'll get him into the team. You know, and then the last two, I, I need hitters. Like, that's really what it comes down to. I can't, I can't have any more pitchers so we're gonna take Emmanuel Rivera who I think he's been he's been hanging out in a couple packs and last but not least who do we have here a gold Zach Plesek um that is unfortunate Mr. Zach Plesek but uh I gotta take Shedlaw um <laughs> I don't I can't afford another pitcher so yeah that's the team I honestly think we might win a World Series immediately. Like, that team was nasty. That was insane. Let me put it together. All right, so you know how I said we might be winning the World Series? I don't know about that. I'm looking at our pitching, and man, it's it's not as good as I originally thought. So, I mean, we're, we're currently ranked 24th. We've got some speed, which I did not, did not expect. Power at 8th in baseball. But uh, yeah, let's 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 look at pitching. We got we got Garrett Cole, Blake Snell, Ian Anderson. I'm like, oh okay, we're we're looking good. Devin Smeltzer, Heath Holder. Yeah. And then you look at this. You know, yeah, we got Jose Leclerc, but like outside of that, it's uh, it's looking a little. We know me and Jace Fry, we don't get along in the bullpen. Normally, he's the first one out the door whenever he's on the team, and then. Man, the rest is just looking so sketch, man. Even LeClerc's one of those guys that you're like, Ugh, do I really want him closing games? Our bench, we got a 55. You know, Michael Hermosillo. I'm, I'm hoping for big things from you for the Cubs. And uh, we got Shed Long, Dexter Fowler. And then we've got, you know what? The offense, not bad. This, this could actually carry us. Lewis, Mitch, Castellanos, Renato Nunez, Christian Walker, Trent Grisham. Uh, Rugnet Odor, the little troll, Will Smith, and Luis Giorme. Like, you're telling, look at the, we got the power of the beard at second and short. I mean, we're, it doesn't look terrible. Like that, I'm like, okay, we, we might win some games. 
but we might also lose a lot of games. So it's it's kind of a, a coin flip. I don't really know what to expect. I'm going to leave the team alone for season one. Somehow we're within budget too. But I'm going to leave the team alone for season one. And then season two, that's when I'll start making the changes. Because I'm interested to see just how this team plays out. So let's get into this season. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty. Here we go. Boom. 82 and 80. You know what? That's okay. That's That's... I can work with that. I can work with that. Ooh, we got some league leaders. Let me take a peek. Doubles. Garrett Cole with strikeout. All right. So here we go. Here's the league leading, league leaders, whatever. The league leading players in the categories that they're league, leading the league in. You know what I'm trying to say. They're the league leaders. Anyways, there's that. We'll take a look at the standings really fast. 13 games out. Okay. Uh, what about the wild card? Four games out in the wild card. That's not it's not too bad like that's something we can work with definitely not too far off and of course i picked the al central because that's the easiest way for me to make the postseason come on there's <laughs> you, you gotta know why i did that on top of that we needed a dh because we had castellanos mitch kyle lewis and trent grisham uh cy young garrett cole Nelson Cruz cranking home runs for a living. Same thing with Juan Soto. 65 home runs along with 40 doubles. And a 1131 OPS. <sighs> That's gross. That's gross. Um, Garrett Cole won Cy Young along with Trevor Bauer. Who, yo, quit with the one-eyed stuff, dude. Like, just, just play normal. Just play normal. Come on. You got paid. Show that you deserve that kind of money. 6-0-1 rookie of the year along with Bobby Dahlbeck. All right. Let's go take a look at this. Let's go take a look at this. So, Whistler, not a bad season. Solid. Love it. Jace Fry, gross, disgusting. Get out of my team. Kyle Ryan, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll work with that. Richard Rodriguez, I said you were solid, and you go and do that for me. You can't You can't be doing that. Uh, Luis Garcia, though. You know what? I mean, I'm, I'm slightly impressed. I'm not happy about that. Uh, Caleb Thielbar, pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. And yo, Jose Leclerc, you shut me up. Normally I'm like you're garbage, but you did well. Uh, Garrett Cole, Cy Young for a reason. Blake Smell, exactly, I said it. Uh, Ian Anderson, not great either. Devin Smeltzer though, solid. And then Heath Holder. I mean, for a guy who's like not highly rated, I, I can't get too upset. Can't get too upset. All right, lineups wise. Our bench, yeah, our bench. <laughs> yikes, our bench was bad. Let's go take a look at our offense, though. Kyle Lewis, solid, solid season. I'll take that for sure. Mitch, killing it. I mean, almost 50 doubles. That's insane. That's unreal. Uh, Castellanos, uh, not, I wanted I wanted more. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I wanted more. Uh, what? Renato Nunez is like a guaranteed cheat code. What? What happened? Christian Walker, not great. Trent Grisham, okay, we can work with that. Uh, no. No. Wow, our offense was uh, pretty disappointing. But just, just, just garbage. Just not what... No, no. The Dodgers defeat the Athletics. They're kind of my sneaky team uh, in real life this year. Uh, yeah, they make the postseason pretty regularly now at this point. But I feel like I feel like they're a team that like they could actually take the West this year. I think they're a little bit a little underrated for sure. I really do. And uh, yeah, let's keep going forward with this. Let's see what we can do in the postseason. Are we going to are we going to lose anybody? Let's see here. We're going to bring back anybody or anybody. We're going to bring back everybody because if I do make a trade, I can only use players that were packed and offering everybody a contract. So realistically, how much money do we have? Not a lot. <laughs> um, Jeez. Rudin and Odor, I don't want him. I want to make a trade with him right now. I do want a new second baseman. Who is someone that would be really, really good to get and would help us out a lot? Hmm. And also wouldn't be like super expensive. You know, that's, that's another thing. I'm trying to find someone that's like going to be somewhat cheap, but also going to help us out quite a bit. Jorge Polanco didn't play a lot, but you know what? That was a decent year in the small amount of time that he did play. So that might be that might be my target, actually. Now that I'm like looking at it. We also really don't have a shortstop. So I could go out and get a shortstop. So who's who's looking to get picked up 
right now because like I'm, I'm trying to win it all right here right now Dansby Swanson I don't think we can get Dansby Swanson so I'm not even gonna not even gonna try so what about Willie Castro not fantastic but again not terrible Andres Jimenez limited appearances Tim Anderson let's let's just see how far off I am pretty far off so let's just keep moving forward I'm gonna see what I can find because I definitely want a new shortstop okay Odor for Didi and I know I had him in the Giants rebuild but I need a good hitting shortstop I'm picking up Didi straight up yeah we added more contract which is not necessarily something that I wanted but uh it had to be done it had to be done um i'm looking around to see like who else i have faith in Bla uh, blake snow i do uh, i do need some starters though that's that's something that i definitely need so free agency i'm gonna be cheap just because i i just need to be and also looking at who's available probably not gonna spend a lot of money unless there's some like sneaky pickup i can get later on in free agency we don't really need outfield. I'm more looking for infield help. So let's see what we can do. All right. So last season, not as good as I would have hoped, but you know what? We're going to change it up. Will Smith out the door. I don't need the Fresh Prince no more. We're going to go to the Marlins for Alfaro, Aguilar, and Floro. Yeah. Basically, I want Floro to help out the bullpen. I want Alfaro to hopefully put up kind of similar numbers to this or just just better than that you know like that's what i'm looking at and then jesus aguilar if he can put up something similar to this i'm happy too so boom there's a new trade next up christian walker don't need him anymore yeah it'd be cool to have some depth yeah it'd be cool to be like yeah we have all these great hitters on the team but we don't need them and looking at our team i need pitching and i need pitching badly so let me go and see who i can get oh what about said lugo can't get Seth Lugo. I'm not even close. Um, is Joe Joey Lucchese is not even close. I don't even know who would be somewhat close and like being able to make a trade. Trevor Williams. Okay, which means I could use potentially. So at outfield set. Could I get could I get another pitcher out of this situation here? Who's who's a guy? I can rely on in the Cubs bullpen that I'd be like, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of them, but you know what? Ooh, what about a starter? And instead I get someone like a Mr. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, I'm so close on that. Who, what about instead of holder, I give you the wonderful Jace Fry and you give me, are you kidding me, dude? We're that, that close. Ooh, you, you you can't I gotta find a way to make this happen. Okay, Fowler, Jace Fry, Shed Long Jr. Boom. There's a the trade. Perfect. Like it. Zach Davies, join the squad. Alright, I'm getting Rondon or I'm getting rid of Rondon, Rodriguez, and Holder for Hansel Robles. And I'm honestly looking at the team here. Let me let me let me move some people around. No, why, why, did, why did a couple players move up? Like, can that be another issue that's fixed? Because, like, I feel like that happens too often. But, like, Luis Garcia, he was good, right? Like, he wasn't great. I don't know who I could get for him. Looking at this, this is pretty good. And then the lineup, you know, Didi slots in at short. We can put Guillaume at second. Catcher Alfaro. Aguilar at first. And I guess we could just go out and sign, what, one one player, two players? Two players to kind of strengthen the, the bench a little bit. Do we need a outfielder? No, we need a little help on the infield. So let's go the handy dandy, Aledmus Diaz. He's always pretty solid. And uh, you, I don't the Todd father I don't I don't know I feel I feel like Greg Garcia sure why not Greg Garcia you join the squad too so I'm looking at this and I go you know what this is pretty solid still yeah Luis Guillorme didn't have the best of years but it wasn't it wasn't bad right like could I trade him and get someone that like I know is gonna do a lot better yes 100% and I probably should do that but I want to I want to test my luck with this team a little bit that's that sounds stupid right i know it, it sounds terrible it sounds like a, a terrible idea 
but let me let me see if I can get nobody. Okay, so that actually, okay, so this is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw in Giorme, and we're gonna go for. Can I get a Mir Garrett? I can't. Who is a good glitchy reliever? Yumi Garcia has been letting me down recently, and I don't really want to do another trade with them. So let's go like this. And do they have anybody that I can slot in at second? That's another thing I got to think of now. Who could be... I don't know if it's worth it. Now I'm thinking about it. Is it really worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Because like I can't get anybody that's going to put up a, a similar season. Yeah, it's just not worth it. It's not. It's not. It's not. I, I don't know why I keep saying it's not and then keep looking like I'm going to find something better. It's not worth it. Let's leave the team. I'm interested to see what we're looking like. 19th. We're currently 19th. We do have some really good pitching, though. And I think the pitching is what's going to carry us to the next level. Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what? This is this is nice. And the fact that we did this without like trading players that we signed, I'm, I'm down for this. This is a this is a good looking team. Let's let's hop into it. Let's see what we do. All right, 97-65, won the division, taking on the Yankees. So if we can knock out the Yankees, I feel really good about this. So I need to beat the Yankees. That's that's really what it comes down to. Because I'm looking at it. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, the Angels. Yeah, the Blue Jays. If we could take out the Yankees, I feel feel really good. So I gotta say, we're currently 18th. You can barely see it, but pitching is the main thing to look at. We're also ninth in contact. Team ERA great team average looks nice too so you know what this i we really turned this team around like we weren't bad last year 82 and 80 but like yeah we yeah we, we put together a nice looking squad so hits castellanos at 200 okay juan soto 57 home runs he's just he's just insane it's unreal who else did some crazy things this year 52 uh, doubles 46 doubles Jason Dominguez is now on the Padres apparently I don't understand it Trout with 46 home runs 58 for Freddie Freeman oh okay we got some awards what are we looking with or looking at Cy Young Garrett Cole Mike Trout Bo Bichette okay DJ LeMahieu MVP race right here on the other side you got Bellinger beating out Soto just barely just barely and then Denilson Lamette putting up a solid season which means he's going to be a Cy Young winner okay what else what else reliever of the year rookie of the year went to Sam Huff and Jason Dominguez Jason Dominguez okay let's take a look here what do we got for the pitching staff Matt Whistler pretty solid season I'll take it uh Kyle you know Kyle Ryan man I did not expect I mean look at his attributes you look at that you go uh, he's okay but he's been pretty solid Hansel Robles pretty good Luis Garcia yo Luis Garcia let's let's have a let's have a round of applause for you 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 did you did your thing man Caleb Thiel Thiel bar same thing solid Dylan Flora why why do you got to do that to me the whip solid the whip's pretty good though but like the ERA is just ah, man come on Jose Leclerc 10 blown saves all right Garrett Cole was nasty Blake Snell got better Zach Davies was good Ian Anderson, we're getting there. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. But you know what? Baby steps. And then Devin Smeltzer. Look at that. Look at those attributes. And you're telling me Devin Smeltzer is one of the best pitchers on this team? Inspirational, man. Look at him. Bench. I let Ms. Diaz. I'm telling you, he's just the ultimate bench bat. That's what you're looking for. Same with Greg Garcia, man. Those two, you need a bench bat, you go pick up one of those. Uh, Kyle Lewis, great year. 42 doubles, 34 home runs. I'll take it for sure, especially since he's not a true leadoff guy, and he he held down that spot perfectly. Same thing with Mitch in the two spot. I mean, there you go. Like, I was disappointed in these numbers. Definitely picked it up the second season. Aguilar gave me exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Didi, you know what? Yeah, the numbers di dipped a little bit, but still a very solid season. Trent Grisham, he boosted that average on base percentage and OPS. 41 doubles, 21 home runs. Yeah, the home run numbers went down a little bit, but still a good year. Renato Nunez, really disappointed. Normally, he is just a guaranteed home run machine. Super sad. Disappointing. Luis Guillorme, gross. And uh, Jorge Alfaro, I told you, if you could give me something close to this, 
I'll be happy because they were still better than Will Smith's numbers. So, yes, let's go take on the uh, the Yankees now. And hopefully we can take a, a, a fat dub, big dub, boss man. And uh... wait, let me let me take a look here. Two to one, eight to nine. So who lost this game? Robles and Dil the bullpen's going to let us down. That is so sad. We, we had the wins in our hands and we let it. Let it get away. Zach Davies going to take the mound for us. All right. what What's going on here? Anything? Anything good? That's not a good. No singles. No runs for them. We get a man on base. Yo, Jorge Alfaro, you are the best. And Clint Frazier went deep, so I hate to see that. Double play with the man in scoring position. No. No. Okay. I mean, now that they tied it up, like all my my faith in the team has just disappeared, right? Like, yeah, we're up three to two, but I just there's there's just that lingering feeling that's like yeah, we're just gonna lose. Jorge Alfaro, three for three on the day. Are you kidding me? Who is this man? Who who is this man? I just threw a lefty in like an idiot. Um, that was three batters, so luckily we can take him out, and we're gonna go to Dylan Floro. I allowed two runs there. That was my fault. I didn't mean to pick him, but I accidentally did. And now we're in a very, very sketchy position because I put in someone that I didn't want to. But Dylan Floro puts us in a good spot. And you know what? I'm happy about it. We're still up one. Jorge Alfaro. Who, who is this person? Are you kidding me? Are you three home runs? Jorge Alfaro. Have yourself a day and then some. Let's not like end it though. Like, can we can we keep it going? Can we like have another good day? Please, please. Corey Kluber's on the mound. So, I mean, if Jorge Alfaro hits another home run, we're we're golden. Like it okay, he's 0 for 1. That it, it just means he's done. He he had his good day and it's over. But um, you know what? I'll take Trent Grisham going deep, giving us a two-run lead, because that's that's what we needed for sure. Garrett Cole's pitching well, which is like perfect timing. Alfaro gets on. Base is loaded. We need to score here. No double play. I'll take two runs. I'll definitely take two. And two more. Make it 6 nothing. Yes, please. Keep it going. Keep it going. 6 nothing. 6-1. Six, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go to... Yo, Luis Garcia. Please... Please, please, please. No, don't do not do that to me. Um, Robles, one run scores. Another run scores. A three run. Why? Why? Why, why? why? Like, we, everything was going great. Luis Garcia had a beautiful season. And then just that. Just absolute, absolute garbage, you know? Just not what you want. And um, bases are loaded for LeMahieu, Le LeClerc. <sighs> you know. You know. It's just sometimes it's not meant to be. I'll give you your closure. Your World Series winners are the Angels. You know, you, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. You, it's just sadness, right? Pain. Take a trip to Spain without the S, you know? It's just, man, I can't believe that just happened. Really? Really? I got to end it there, though. We, oh, that's, that's just a, a quick little challenge. Unfortunately, we weren't able to win the World Series, but I feel like we built a good team. We got lucky with the packs. And on top of that, you know, we made some really good trades, and we were able to turn this team around pretty quickly. And I hope you did enjoy it. So, of course, if you did, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And, of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see next. And that's really about it, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.